Hi and welcome to another Married to Reselling video. I'm Simon. I'm Faye. And together we're a UK reseller couple, but you probably already know that. It's Monday and it's the 18th of December. So uh, this video is coming out on the Tuesday, which means second class postage on Royal Mail is done. It's probably our busiest week of the year as far as reselling goes, because we are doing multiple trips to the post office. We are trying to get as many sales in as possible. We're not ones to switch off the shop early. Uh, it's been frantic, isn't it? I've been to the post office, every drop off and UPS drop off today. DPD. You... Oh, and DPD. You've been to the post office again. Yeah. So yeah, we are on it. And now we're gonna show you some stuff that's sold. Right, I'm ill, but the show must go on. So yes. bear with me. Right, crate 10. Mm, yep, over here. It's a Beatrix Potter Miss Tiggy Winkle cup. Put that at the front. Yes, I've got one. I've got that exact cup. Wedgwood. Uh, yep, cost 15p, sold within a month for 9 99 plus post. I wasn't going to list it because there's loads for sale, but it turned out all good in the end. Just shows that your listings kick ass. Don't put it down too hard, you'll break it. They do <laughs> kick ass. Right, shoes. Oh, is it one of these? Yep. Again. Is it going to be in the top box? I have no idea. Oh, it's one of them, isn't it? Emilio in a purple. No. Emilio Luca high heel shoe, size 5, purple glitter ankle strap. Why am I not seeing those heavy breather? Let's have a look at the other. Is that it? Is it just in those yeah. shoes? Yeah. Is it? It's this. Oh, there, look. It's oh, purple. Let's have a look. Glittery. That's probably going to be them. They're purple and they're glittery. Yeah, yeah like that's black them. Studs. Yes, that's them. They cost two pound thirty-eight and sold for fifteen ninety-nine plus post. You got those from your contact, your media contact, and the mug was from an auction lot. Yeah, got a couple of little sharkers here. Great twenty-one. Yeah. Uh, vintage Biltons collar roll spring bouquet dinner plate times four. Are they dinner plates? Yeah. Let me see. Yeah. Excellent. They cost 25p for the four from auction and they sold for £22.22. The buyer sent an offer about, uh, it feels like five days ago, for £12. I counted at £22.22. They went up to £15. I counted at £22.22. Then they went up to £18, which was their final offer. I counted at twenty. To 22 and they accepted but they always left it a few days anything that we do anything that we sell over 26 pound 50 we have a 25 percent off voucher uh which is 22.99 i think so that's why i send the offers of 22 22 so it's a little bit better than the voucher and they went for it yeah and they sold within three weeks crate one og yeah. yeah a royal worcester evesham gold teacup and saucer set of six That's it. They're going GSP to Ireland. They sold within four months. They cost a couple of quid and sold for twenty four ninety nine plus post. Very distinctive Eve from gold with the gold rim and this pattern. Yeah, very, very there's Eve. There's veil. Eve from veil, which has got the green rim. It's been a while since I've done one of these, so this is how I pack these cups and saucers. First of all, I'm wrapping the saucers together. They're going to go as one. Once that's done, I'm going to secure the edges, I'm going to keep those really tight so they don't move. So I'm just putting tape, just making sure it's compressing those plates on top of each other. And I'm doing basically four corners, as much of four corners of a circle as you can get. Next, I'm wrapping that in cardboard. So make sure your neighbours are always bringing you cardboard. It's constantly turning up at our door. So yeah, grab some cardboard from your neighbours and wrap those plates. I'm pinching the edges in to stop them from sliding out the side and secure them nicely. Next, I'm doing the cups. So I'm literally just wrapping up and I'm really pinching around that handle, putting some bulk of the bubble wrap around there. And then I'm taping around to secure that bubble wrap over the mouth of the cup and the base and then just repeating that for all cups. Next, I'm just gonna bubble wrap around the plates and just take that nice and secure and just make sure that you don't lose your roll of tape. Next, building a nice box. It's a double walled box, nice and strong. 
So this is the way I do boxes. I've done them with FBA like this. I, I don't have a name for it. I should call it like the helipad or something. But um, I'm doing quite a thorough job on making this box stay nice and secure. Once that's done, just ram it with anything you can find, off cuts of anything at all, paper, bubble wrap, air pockets. And I'm just packing that in nicely and then I am gonna layer it. So more paper, just shove anything. I'm just, I've got bags and bags of just this off cut stuff that turns up at our front door and just from, you know, packaging, general packaging, I'm just shoving it all in, making sure it's really secure. Basically, so nothing can move inside there. Look at me ramming it all in there. And then once that's done, just secure the box as before. Look at that. And then it's time to remember what you put in it. And that lot took me 14 minutes and four seconds. There's shortcuts that I take that I can't do while I'm filming from above because I need to get it in shot, but I could have done it quicker, I reckon 11 or 12 minutes probably. And that's it. Home, I can see it, it's the car shop car shed thing this costs two pound from a charity shop sold within a month for 17.99 it's a window vac replacement suction nozzle I had quite a bit of interest in this i think it's just waiting for the right buyer because we've sent for quite a few offers and we'd had offers uh, but that's a good price for that then we've got crate 14. yep it's a vintage Lu lucia Bog bogas Cup and saucer times five. Probably pronounced that all wrong. They're really nice. They're heavy Lucia, though. Something, yeah, bigger. Yeah, who knows? There we go. They cost 39p for that set of five cups and five saucers. Sold within a month for 29.99 plus post. Then we've got the uh, crate 23. Yeah. The antique old hall cheese dish. <laughs> now, if you watched one of our videos recently where I did a sort of um, haul, like live picking from, well not live, but you know, picking from the box, first time seeing it, is when you're seeing it. This was in there and I thought the plate was a pizza plate, like as a joke. Pizza slice. Pizza slice. And it ended up going in the skip on our next door neighbour's drive because they said we could put some stuff in the skip because it was chipped. Uh, but it's, you messaged or commented and said, no, that goes with the lid. And I, well, Simon had realised, so he'd gone and fished it out. Mm. Anyway, it is chipped, but hey, it cost 97p and it sold for 19.99 within a week. Nice. And then we have this chest set. This sold within an hour. This was in a lot from the auction, which I thought, oh no, I've overpaid for this because there's only like four or five things in there. The whole lot cost me £12. Um, and at first I thought there was nothing worth it in there, but this, um, it worked out costing two pounds something and it sold for 40 pounds plus post within an hour and it's plus post because it's going to the isle of Wight. and it's um it's unbranded and it's pegged it's a peg vintage peg travel chess set yeah. the, the pieces aren't wooden but some you can get some where the pieces are wooden i guess they might be older mm. these are sort of like a plasticky sort of rubber but yeah, but yeah you listed this for 49.99 they sent an offer for 40 which as he said accepted and um if i'd have waited a couple of days there'd have been a 25 percent off voucher put on it because as i said a minute ago everything over 20 26 pound 50 gets 25 percent off anything under gets 15 percent off um but you know if i'd have waited around they might have missed it obviously they weren't to know that no but also i don't Lovely put sale. i don't put a um, best offer on new listings but with this one i did because i thought i was pushing my luck a little bit um mm. but hey great sale very nice Okay, it's in a box. Vintage wine glasses times four, clear ridged, short Ooh. stem drinking glass set. Ridged wine glasses, could that be them? Let's have a look. There's only one way to find out. That's that them. them, yeah. They cost 93p for all, is it four did I say? Yeah. All four? And they sold for 24.99 plus post. I nearly didn't list them because they weren't really anything special, I didn't think. The ridge is like you can sort of barely see it. But... It's very hard to capture in a photo. Yeah. Uh, crate 16. Yes. The vintage Bristol blue glass bottle times two. These cost 52p um, for the pair and they sold for 14 99 plus post. Now what's interesting is 
I'm into glass art, glass fusing, all that sort of stuff. I've done it myself. And I'm in a few groups on Facebook um, of glass fusers and people like to buy these because they fuse really well and stay blue. Yeah, Bristol cream, aren't they? Yeah. Sherry. Right, this hasn't got a crate number because I think they're still in the house. Oh, what is it? Oh, hang on a minute. Sorry, I didn't tell you about these glasses. These glasses sold within two months and these bottles sold within a month. What's in the house is uh, vintage Woodsware Barrel dessert bowls, four of them, so they haven't been put away yet. Bowls? Yeah, that's them. They uh, cost 49p for four, and they sold for £16.75 within a week. All of these came from the auction. Um, then we have, back in the kitchen, <laughs> <laughs> a vintage Delft Blau, Blue white octagonal plate. Oh, it might be in here. Yeah, it is in here. We failed. We failed. Delft's blouse. So it's quite, it's listed in November. It's small. There it is. That was lucky. Mm. That is a vintage Delft's blouse. Blue white octagonal plate. Delft blue with a windmill. And it's on a wall. Yeah, it's yeah. Like a hangy thing. And that cost 25p from auction and that sold for 14.99 plus post worth checking on your on the inventory around that time if there's anything else that's not been skewed well this next one also cost 25p and has a skew so crate 21 uh vintage biltons collar roll spring bouquet dinner plate four of them oh yeah i think these were in also in the last clip Yes. Well, the clip before sold sort of two sets in a row, wouldn't be pretty much. Yeah, these cost twenty five p for all four, and they sold for twenty nine ninety nine. The last one sold for twenty two twenty two. Yeah, these sold uh, within like two weeks. All right, we've got these vintage Spanish wall plates going out. There's three of them. They're all different. I nearly didn't list these because they're just sort of souvenirs that people get on holiday. But I thought, well, what have I got to lose? Uh, so time. It's time. It didn't take me long. I'm a whiz these days. <laughs> um, these cost a total of 25p, not per plate, per three. And they sold for £22.22 .22 and sold within three weeks. They were in an auction lot. Uh, next up, this was also in an auction lot. This is a bad buy. This cost £4.16 and sold for £10 plus post. It's a green glass jug, Victorian, Mary Gregory style, with hand enameled um, flowers on it. And that sold within three months. You say it was a bad buy, you mean like basically the whole sort of, the whole job lot? Look, we paid too much. They weren't a bad thing to buy, Yeah. Um, but we paid too much. Yeah. I mean, there were some bigger pieces in there. Still um, left. See these ones. There's some bigger pieces in the lot, yeah. but it doesn't work out well for the little ones. No. Then we've got this tablet. It's an Asus tablet. Funny story about this, or interesting story rather. I won it in a competition uh, a few years ago now, and we just stuck it on our work eBay account because it was just easier. Um, but it's fully working, and that was free and sold within a week for nineteen ninety nine plus post. And then we've also got this Russ Berry Tabitha Cat plush. That was in that big bin liner of soft toys that we got with the Beanie Babies. This cost 15p and sold for £17 within a month. It's currently four degrees Yay. in the barn. Oh, I like it. Keeps my legs nice and fresh. They're looking fresh, especially when we're both ill. Fresh and ill. Right, let's rock this. Uh, accessories. Yeah. Earrings. What was it, these? Let's see, yes, these sold on the other sites. They cost 15p, sold within a week for about five quid plus pounds. So happy with those. Auction fodder. Yes, auction fodder. Thank you for the reminder. Then we've got crate 12. Yeah. It's the Princess Diana plate. Now, I wonder if this sold because the new series of The Crown's just been released on Netflix. Oh yeah, nothing I'd like more than watching the crown whilst eating off my princess. Well, you're not going to eat plate. off that. Well, someone might. A die-hard fan. That sold for nine ninety-nine on Etsy, and that costs ninety-three p auction fodder. Uh, sadly, a Diana and Charles wedding plate did go in the skip the other day. Uh, sad times. Sad times indeed. Right. Next up, we have 
Marla Wynn, so M. And it's Marla Wynn 33. It could be that pink one there. Marla Wynn 33. Beautiful. That sold for £15 within two and a bit months. And that was a Facebook pickup, paid £2.22. <laughs> Have they paid for that then? Yes. That was just yes. Taken off, They've it? just paid. Not got many left, I don't think. No, it's maybe half a dozen. I need to update my spreadsheet because I have um, made a note of the profits. So I will be able to add that to a video shortly. Oh. Exciting times. Yes. Generic. It's a cowbell without the strap. That's it. Sounds of Austria. Turn it around. It's got flowers on it. Edelweiss. Okay, that's a vintage cowbell, metal, floral, Edelweiss flowers. Cost 52p, sold within a month for £7 plus post. Crate 24. We only put these away earlier. Oh, cool. What is it? Um, seven in Johnson Brothers Indies blue cereal bowls. They cost 49p for all seven, and they sold for 39.99, listed and sold within a week. Nice, like that. From the auction. Then over here we've got a cuddly toy. It's like the generation game. Uh, this is a TY original beanies lollipop rare beanie baby. Uh, it says 2005 on its swing tag. It's a white puppy dog. Cost 15p, sold within a month for £17.50. Then we've got that book. These are worth a fortune. Oh uh, yeah, I think, did I just pick this up on its own? I think possibly, or was it with a bundle? I can't remember. You got a, a, I think you must have got it as a bundle because the cost price is zero so you must have assigned that to the others yeah this cost is sold for 675 plus post sold in a couple of weeks then we've got tops n for next you see a beigey colored jumper with uh, like bronze and brown stars on it helping sneeps next star jumper that's it uh i think that's brand new with tags uh it's a size small cost three pound got it in july uh, so it took a couple of months to sell, but it was from a car boot sale, and that sold for eighteen pounds. Crate four. My that sleeps. It's a Royal Albert Cottage Garden saucer on its own. Could this be it? Royal Albert Cottage Garden. This is saucer before we wrapped wrapped everything before it went away. This cost twenty five p. Um, took two months to sell for seven pound plus post. I don't normally just list saucers on their own, but. This one had a promise, so I did it. Uh, then we've got, that was from the auction, Crate 22. Desperate to get in the way. Yeah. This is a vintage mid 19th century Chinese porcelain vase. Um, it's like a rectangular, funny shape. Yeah, boy. Um, oh, there it is, it back, that one? yeah. That's it. That cost £1.22, that was in an auction lot, that sold for £16.75, and that is going to the America via GSP. The America. Then we've got these two uh, paintings. Yeah, you can't see them. Can't see them. Because em. they're tucked but inside. They are both by Ralph Shaw, they're original paintings, signed. One is of Bosham or Bosham Harbour, um, I think they actually both are Bosham or Bosham Harbour in West Sussex. Not familiar with West Sussex Manor geography. Manor Cottage Studios, Felpham, uh, West Sussex, PO22. They cost a total of 15p and sold for 27 99 That was an offer I sent. And then we've got Boppet, Hasbro Boppet Refresh Classic Plus 10 uh, from 2015. That cost 199 and that sold for 18 99 and it's going to Denmark via GSP. I thought um, I thought it sold a little bit quicker, but we had had a few offers which kept rejecting because I knew it'd sell eventually at a half decent price. Nice. Then we've got the T2. This is a box of T2 tummy tea, and I uh, bought a load of them in bulk. And the lady gave me this for free, which is a T2 storage canister thing. I put this down as a zero cost because I've assigned the price to all the other teas. And this sold for $14.99 plus post. My voice is going. This is a vintage Delft marked 45 blue white hanging plate with flowers. This cost 49p and sold for $9.99 plus post. Little live pets, cats and dog. Uh, together, these were 15p. They were also in that big 
bin liner full of beanies and rust teddies. Uh, they sold for $59.99 and they're going to Finland via GSP. Now I listed these, I just took photos and there's a couple of accessories, but I didn't know what was going on with it, so I just left it. And then someone asked a question. Yeah, so they asked if the eyes open and close because they're electronic pets and I didn't have a clue because Faye listed them. So I tested them. I went on YouTube, found a video for each. This is Cuddles and this is Snuggles, the dog, the cat. And they both seem to operate as the YouTube videos, which took me two minutes to watch. Uh, so yeah, I replied and I also weighed them and put them in and, and replied to the customer to say, I've checked them, this is what works. Don't know if there's anything that doesn't work, but um, they bought them. And interestingly, they didn't apply the 25% off coupon. And then we've got this little vintage map puzzle, the really tiny puzzle company. Uh, it's new and sealed, it cost a pound. That sold for 5.49 plus post. That's been listed for about six months. Um, so yeah, and oh, and the, I, the pet, sorry, sold within a couple of weeks. I guess we bought this maybe for Amazon and couldn't put it on Amazon for whatever reason. Crate one. Dalton Bruce Oldfield bowls, four of them. Can you tell me if there's two lots in there? Uh, there is. Excellent, yes. thank you. Just doing a stock check. Great, they cost £2.27, sold within a month on Etsy for £29.99. Brilliant. Yeah, I'll blue and white with the gold rim and trim inside crate 15 vintage chinese pumpkin chinoiserie porcelain ginger jar hasn't got a lid but it didn't deter our buyers it cost us two pound 42 sold for 29.99 and sold within a week and that was an auction pickup those bowls could well have been a charity shop pickup actually got a cup here sold within 24 hours this cost one pound 45 sold for 7.99 plus post it's a vintage Paragon Bed of Paradise teacup. Um, that was in an auction pickup. Quite nice. Yeah. Then we've got Crate 14. Yeah. Eight vintage Johnson Brothers Indies blue dinner plates. Oh, make sure you emphasize the numbers on this one. Yes, yeah, so that cost, those collectively cost 49p and sold for 79.99 and they are going to australia we do have coupons on but they didn't use it mm. okay 49p into 80 pounds how quickly did it sell uh they sold within a couple of weeks maybe a week um crate 20 troubadour uh, yeah it's I'm the wonder if it's something on the top that I can it's, just reach. yeah it's the rectangular roasting dish stand on the step is here that's a good idea. Thanks. Uh. Like one of them? Yes, perfect. That cost £3.13 and sold for £22.22. .22. This was a job lot, a full set that we picked up on a marketplace um, pickup a couple of weeks ago. Um, yeah, sold within a couple of weeks. Then we've got Crate 24 here yeah it's the rabbit teapot the other one there we go this cost 97p this was in a job lot from auction sold within a couple of weeks it's going to italy and they paid 15 pounds i accepted an offer which maybe was a bit too low but 97p is 15 pounds yeah the reason i think it was a bit low is because the smallest measurement whichever one that is probably here is 15 centimeters so that gives me one centimeter packaging to keep it within small parcel which is impossible so it's going to go medium parcel which bumps up the shipping price so yeah i think there's still money in it but not as much as you yeah wanted. at the end of the day yeah it's got a 15 percent or it had a 15 cent voucher off you know if they use yeah. the voucher instead of sending the offer but um so it's not a million miles off it's okay. gone <laughs> and then we've got this keyboard it's a yamaha porter sound pss 120 vintage keyboard with synthesizer it's got boxed with instructions and some music and 
It works. How do we know it works? Because I was in bed one morning and you were doing a Ross from Friends <laughs> playing me stuff. Oh, oh, it was better than Ross from Friends. Name I that was, tune. I was reading music. I was playing music. I was playing all sorts. Some Cliff Richard, I think, some Elton John. Oh, God. There's all sorts going on. We've got a cost price of zero on that one because we allocated the price of the lot we got from auction to everything else. Did that come with the same lot that the beanies were in, in the bag? Yeah, it did, yeah. 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 Well, this sold for £19.49 plus post. If you spend any time in forums, on social media, Instagram, Facebook, all the rest of it, people are talking about how eBay's advertised delivery are showing like after Christmas and all that sort of stuff and get very downheartened. And then there's a lot of people that just say they just keep going, doesn't matter what the deliveries say, they put messages in their shop and all that sort of thing. I spend this week constantly updating our business policies, so our shipping policies and checking what's advertised. So at the moment, currently, we are advertising 24 other courier on a next day shipping. And so it's Monday now, and our items are showing that they'll be delivered on Wednesday, which is absolutely fine. We can also use UPS. And as the days roll on, I, I keep amending that. So I'm switching between other 48, other 24, UPS next day. And also I'm playing around with our handling time cutoff point. So for some of the business policies, we do same day shipping. And the cutoff is 4.15, so if anyone gets a it order was, in... It was half 11, but then you moved it today, didn't you? Yes, yeah, good point, yeah. Um, because it just means, you know, you get that those extra sales in, and that's you know, that's what we're all about, isn't it, in terms of this time of year. We're, we want to sell it. Well, yeah, we do want to sell it. Like, like, not calling anyone out at all, but when you sort of see people say, like, oh, I can't be bothered with it at Christmas, if, if that's... That's that works for a lot of people because you know they want family time or you know they just don't want to think about work. Um, but we are you know, self employed, like we don't want to stop operating just because of bank holidays and stuff. Obviously, nothing's guaranteed, so things might not turn up on time, um, and that's fine, that's just part and parcel of being in business in retail. And um, so, we will deal with those when we're back in the office. We're taking Christmas off obviously and we're actually away between Christmas and New Year so we're having a break and we will sort of jump back in sort of third of January I guess yeah and and deal with those issues then but people who order so close to Christmas surely have to be prepared that things might not go so smoothly uh, it's not always the case there'll be people that may be a bit annoyed but you've this, ruined my Christmas yeah but this is the way we've always done it we've been doing this since 2017 sort of full time and, and we've always done it this way at Christmas haven't we always yeah. let us know what you do at this time of year do you just want rid of it just wash your hands of it for the for the rest of the year or for the Christmas period or do you keep um, fighting for those last minute sales because for us, as, as we kind of already said, you know, this is the time. This is the time to make money. We've got plenty of stock listed, like we want to sell it. The thought that someone's looking for something that we've got and wouldn't order it because it says, you know, delivery after Christmas or whatever, nothing's ever guaranteed. You know, the shipping speeds say estimated. Um, and, you know, that's what we work to. And of course, there's, there's always going to be one or two problems and and we'll just deal with those like any other time of the year we'll deal with those logically methodically <laughs> standard standard replies <laughs> yeah exactly sort of standard replies um and that's that's how we do it uh, one of the things we do notice as well so this week is like a manic week because christmas day falls on a monday so people have got the five working days before christmas to shop as normal and we things will just naturally taper off anyway because people will come friday i think it'll be a lot quieter and we've got plans we've got plans this week and we're going to adapt our dispatch times and handling times and everything to suit that we're going to see some christmas lights and all that sort of thing so we do still have a life um but it is quite a busy one so if you're on the fence right now and you're wondering what to do it's uh this video as i said is coming out tuesday morning that's the 19th and you're wondering what should i do well, we say go for it if you are confident in your customer service that you can like handle the com a complaint or two you know that you can handle that professionally and look at it as what it is um then go for it you know don't be put off by the the thought that someone might send you a message on christmas day just just 
turn your notifications off and ignore it and give yourself some time off. Um, but don't stop operating just because, uh, you know, the shops are shut, the post office is shut um, and you're off. So we're just getting ready for our fourth whatnot show. It's 25 to 6 and we're going live at 6. So um, we've been kind of busy preparing stuff. You can see the rail behind us. We've got a few giveaways and we're looking forward to it. And that will be our last one of the year. Uh, obviously, that will have already happened by the time you watch this. But uh, yeah, we've been busy doing that. So let us know. Have you been in our Whatnot show? Have you not heard of Whatnot? Do you want to know what Whatnot is? So the dog just jumped off the chair. Jumped. Let us know what you think of Whatnot. Generally, have you won any giveaways? Right, that'll do. We've got to crack on because we've got a show and hopefully everything will sell in the show and then I've got to spend the evening packing it up while Simon's at football and then it'll be another trip to the Every Drop Off tomorrow. So thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Bye. See ya.